Hi, in this particular video, we will discuss about JSX. As in the introduction, we saw like all the components are designed in JSX only when you work with React. So this is the fact again. So the components are generally written in JSX. We can write them in JavaScript, in normal JavaScript, but we prefer to go for JSX. When we talk about virtual DOM, which is one of the very important feature of React, it's actually provided by this JSX because it returns the HTML and that enables us to create the virtual DOM, which will help in React for creating the single page application or for any other operation. It provides the optimization. Basically what happens when the final execution take place at that particular time, the JavaScript is the one which will be participating, not the JSX. So what happens when you write the component in JSX, it goes through a compilation which will convert the JSX into JavaScript. And during that compilation, it actually does the optimization as well. So rather than writing a raw JavaScript code, it is the optimized JavaScript code which will provide you better performance. And it is type safe. Basically JavaScript is not a type safe scripting language, but when it comes to JSX, it is type safe. So if there is any error related to the data type, that comes in the compilation time rather than the runtime. So that enables your code more promising at the execution time. And most of the errors can be caught during the compilation, as I said, because it is type safe. So basically these are some of the very important features of JSX. Now let's see some sample code using which we will be able to create a component and we will be able to work with the partial DOM, sorry, virtual DOM and JSX. So here you can see in this basic example, what I'm doing is it's just an app, which is nothing but a component because it is inheriting from react.component. And what it is doing, there's a render method, all right, all right. Whenever you will be creating a component, it would be having a render method and that render method will be responsible for returning the HTML as here you can see. So basically this is what, this is the JSX code. So here it's just like a div and here inside which I am doing the uh, hello world, all right. If you want to return multiple tags, you can put them all like h1 paragraph, you can put them all inside this div means there should be only one root element and multiple multiple elements can be placed inside that root. Now, in this particular example, what you can do is here, actually I'm putting some expressions. So whenever you want to put some expressions, you can put them inside the single curly braces. All right. So here in the div, I put h1 and inside the h1, I put the curly braces. So basically these are what these are the expressions. Any kind of operation as here, it is arithmetic operation. You can put ternary, you can put logical comparison, whatever uh, operation you want to do. You can do that in an expression and you can put it there. In the window, in the output, you will be getting the result. That is in this particular case, you will be getting two. All right. Now here you can see about the styling. If you have a style sheet, as here you can see, you want as you put some style sheet with the HTML, what is the way of putting the style here in this JSX? So here inside the render, you can see where my style and in the my style, I have put a couple of styles. All right. Like there is a red color and the font size 100. So this is a style. Now, if you want to put this particular style in the JSX here, H1 style, and you will be passing that in an expression. All right. In the curly braces. So this is how you will be applying these styles in your react components. Similarly, if you want to put some comments, so you can simply put the, uh, again, the curly braces, all right? If you will be putting the curly braces without any particular tag, that will be considered as the comment. So if you want to write some comment, you can just use these curly braces. So during this execution of React components in our coming videos, we will be using these patterns of JSX in order to write our components. Tutorialspoint.com. Simply easy learning.